well, I think this paper is exciting and the research that went into it for two reasons. Uh, first reason is it provides us with a, a, an answer to some fundamental questions about how cancer develops. Uh, but I think more exciting is the fact that it provides, I think, new insights and options for a cancer therapy that we might not have thought of before in the past. The proteins that we're particularly interested in are known as CKS proteins, and they're part of the core machinery that regulates cell proliferation. After years and years of research, have understood uh, the role of this protein in cancer. It breaks down the cell's normal defenses uh, to signals that make them want to grow faster. So the cell's life is a constant battle uh, between errors that make the cell become pre-malignant and want to proliferate faster and become a tumor and intrinsic mechanisms that push back against that tendency and block tumor formation uh, and make cancer at least a relatively rare disease. And what we have found is that when this protein or family of proteins becomes overexpressed uh, or expressed at an abnormally high level in cells that are precancerous, uh, some of these pushback mechanisms fail. And then the cell can uh, progress to the next level and become much more dangerous and ultimately uh, can be, form a tumor. In particular, the way that, that this uh, protein uh, breaks down these barriers uh, means that cells um, that overexpress this protein, uh, while they are extremely malignant, should be uh, more susceptible to certain types of combination uh, chemotherapy. And if we can provide uh, diagnostic uh, materials to analyze tumors uh, to figure out which ones uh, overexpress these proteins, I think we may actually be able to uh, very effectively cure those cancers, uh, whereas in the past they may have been very difficult to cure.